Hey folks, Matt Horwitz, LLC University. Hope you're doing well. Let's talk about a major mistake that real estate investors make in regards to setting up their LLC. Just got a phone call today and we've gotten dozens and dozens and dozens of these phone calls. People phone in saying, hey, you know, they've done some research. They've learned that they need to set up an LLC for their investment property so they can protect their assets, but they already bought their property in their name. And they think that just setting up the LLC is going to somehow magically protect their assets. It's not the case. If you think about it, those properties are owned by you personally. Just setting up an LLC, it's not affiliated with that at all. So an LLC just doesn't protect anything you do magically, right? You're setting up an entity. You're creating an entity by state statute. That entity, therefore, needs to own the property and do the business. What I mean by that is that when you're purchasing the properties, your purchase contract, your agreement of sale, the deed, any financing, all of that is in the name of the LLC. The LLC is that the LLC holds title to the property, not you personally. So got a phone call today from a guy in California who owns three different properties, all financed by three different banks and wanted to set up an LLC to protect his assets. And I said, yeah, just so you know, don't go ahead and set the LLC up right now. What you need to do is you need to call each one of the different banks to see if he can refinance or transfer the title and how that's going to affect the loan. So once people kind of understand like, okay, cool. I, I, I realize that I need to, uh, get, I need to transfer the title into the name of the LLC, right? They, they realize they need to do that. Sometimes it's called a dollar deed. They're basically where you are in the United States, it's going to be sometimes the name of the deed may have something, uh, may be called something different. There may be different fees, but essentially you're going to be selling the property for $1 from yourself to your LLC. But if you have financing and if you have mortgages attached to those properties, you just can't just knock it out and do it really quickly, right? There's, uh, you have a whole entire, you have documents and documents and mortgages and clauses and things that you signed at settlement. You just, just because it's going from you to the, to your own LLC, it doesn't matter to the finance company. It's going from the buyer, excuse me, it's going from the seller to a different buyer, right? So you need to pick up the phone, call, call the different bank and say, hey, look, uh, I need to get this title out of my own personal name and put it into the name of the LLC. Now, you might have, some people are, are going to be out of luck because some banks may not allow it. If they're going to be lending to an LLC, even with you personally guaranteeing the loan, it's no longer going to be called, it's no longer going to be, not called, it's no longer going to be a residential loan. It's therefore a commercial loan and commercial loans take place usually within a different department in the bank. They have different terms and they have different rates. You're essentially refinancing the property in the name of the LLC. It's a bit of a mess, really. And what, uh, I mean, if you're watching this video, obviously you're, hopefully if you're watching this video, you've caught it before you've purchased your property. You need to purchase your property and obtain your financing in the name of the LLC in order for that LLC to protect your personal assets. However, if you've already bought property in your personal name and you want to transfer it to the LLC, the biggest thing that's going to hold you up is a mortgage. So you need to talk to the lender. You need to talk to the bank, let them know about your situation and see if you can go ahead and do a dollar deed or a dollar sale transfer the property. You're going to have to pay some title fees. You may need to pay. Um, you're not going to pay full blown transfer tax uh, in different places. It's called different things. Sometimes it's called the common level ratio. It's like a really basically a cheap and affordable way to do the transfer tax because you're basically selling it to yourself for a dollar. Um, this is much more of a title based question than it is an LLC formation based question. You really need to be calling the bank and the title company to figure out what needs to take place. But just so you know, in order to get that asset protection, you have to transfer those properties out of your personal name into the name of the LLC. So that's the sale of real estate takes place, needs to take place at a title company. And if you have mortgages and financing in place, you're going to need to be refinancing or, um, the, I'm calling it a transfer, but there may be a more technical name for that. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're watching this video before you've purchased properties in your own personal name. Even with uh, strong liability insurance, you want to have an LLC in worst case scenario. Both of those together are really going to be your, uh, your strongest combination. Just having one or the other is a weak scenario. You want to protect your assets to the fullest. 
Hopefully this video makes sense. If you have any questions, you know where to find us. Thanks.